Hey y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. Thought I would do an outfit of the day to share with you guys. We are in the midst of getting a cold front, so it's pretty neat. It's kind of hot outside, but there's these like cool breezes that roll through. So it's really, really neat. I was going to wear a red blazer with this, but it's still so hot that there's no way I can wear them together. So I'm gonna wait um, to pair this with a red blazer, but I really wanted to do kind of the color blocking theme into fall. Um, so later on, I will do that video with the red blazer and the cobalt jeans. But let me show you guys this one. Start off with... And I've just got on a pair of um, black pierce pumps from Target, my cobalt blue jeans from Target. These I got last year, or no, in the early spring, I think. But this cobalt blue color is very popular for the fall again. I've got a gold glittered belt on from Target also. My white Oxford, which is from The Gap. It's just a button down um, from The Gap. And then my gold chain link necklace from MR Chic. Dot com and a gold and black I like this it's kind of like an open stone ring um, where it looks like you know the geode is kind of sliced open on your finger I just think that's really neat so this is from H&M um, a couple of months ago they probably don't have these still in I this was like one of the first things that I bought at H&M here and then my bag this is my trusty old Fendi spy bag I love this bag um, Kind of one of the first designer purses that I ever really got into or that my husband um, purchased for me once we were married. And that's that. Um, my wedding rings, normal wedding rings, and then uh, my usual normal, yeah, my wedding, wedding rings are normal, right? Uh, my usual wedding rings and my diamond studs. On my face, I have on the new, uh, it's the Marilyn Monroe collection eyeshadow in How to Marry. Um, I always want to say How to Marry a Millionaire, but that was a movie, so it's just How to Marry. Um, and it's a white shade that I put all over, and then just in the crease I put Max Soba. And then I did do a little bit of some black uh, winged liner. And I was going to do some lashes because I have this really bald kind of, I'm missing like, I don't know, five or six lashes right here in the middle of this eyelid. Uh, and I was going to do some false lashes over that, but I can't find my lash glue, so yeah, <laughs> I didn't end up doing that. What I did do is I did the liquid liner um, out, the liquid, it's like a felt tip pen. So I did that, and then I went in with a black liner and just kind of filled in the gap so you couldn't see the disconnect between my lashes. It's really, really annoying. I'm not exactly sure why it's happening. Um, on my lips, I've got Tarte's Amused Lip crayon it's the lip crayon one let me see do i have it in here did i stick it in here or not ah, i guess i didn't stick it in here I'm not sure what i did with it okay so it's the amused one okay Sorry, obviously, not finding that. Now I'm confused because I don't know where it is. Anyhow, so that is my um, face of the day. I have on NARS Angelica blush. I was going to go with a red lip, but then since I was going to do the red blazer, I didn't want to do red on red, so I kind of went with a hot pink lip. It's a little bit more muted than hot pink, though, um, but it's really, really pretty. And I have not had the opportunity to paint my nails this weekend yet, so nothing there. Um, and last things last, my hair, you will notice, is darker. I went ahead and darkened it up for the fall. This is um, a medium brown shade. It's from the Garnier Nutrice line, and it's just a medium brown, um, really pretty color. But I did that to kind of get some of the red out. I find in the fall when I start to wear more uh, reds, and I'm trying to get rid of this. Hold on, let me turn this light off. Didn't really do it but okay that's better because the glare was really horrible um when the fall comes and i tend to do more of a red lip or plum or ruby you know darker lips i find that 
my hair doesn't look so great with those colors on my lips when it's got so much red in it from the summer. So I kind of let it get super light over the course of the summer and then towards the beginning of fall, I will darken it up. And so this is kind of the first um, coloring for the fall season, um, but it's just a darker lip. And you know, I know you guys have known that I've got like that snow white, um, kind of where I love, I love pale skin with dark hair. So my hair in the fall will get really, really dark because I like the contrast of a very pale um, skin tone with very dark hair and then a very bold lip. So it's kind of switching up my um, style a little for the fall season, which I do every year. And then, you know, it just kind of lasts through the winter and then comes spring, I lighten everything up again. Um, I don't go so harsh with the makeup or anything like that anymore. So that's that. Uh, I will talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.